Welcome back. Guilted Piper here. I want to do a couple shout outs real quick. Um, Piper Sam is one that I'm going to do a shout out real quick to. Um, he's uh, one of the guys that I've been following. Um, there's some pretty good videos and he's needing a little bit of support, getting him some subscribers. Uh, another one just ran across a few minutes ago. Ashley Nearing. Uh, I'll put a link to both of them down in the uh, description below. Uh, she has been a pipe smoker for I believe two years. Uh, she just started making videos. She's doing some tobacco reviews. Uh, done a couple on uh, some aromatic blends already. She's trying to do reviews on tobaccos that there aren't already any reviews on. So if she finds one that she can't find any reviews on, she's doing a review on it. So go ahead and check her out, give her a sub. Um, there's some more news. You remember a couple weeks ago, I ordered a new Cristiano Canadian pipe that was damaged uh, when it was delivered. Tenon had been broken off of it. Well, I went ahead and sent it out to a new pipe repair shop that I haven't used before. Because they offered another service that I haven't found with some of the other shops. So I wanted to take advantage of the other service. Just received the pipes back today. Well, this is the Cristiano Canadian that was broken. The uh, tenon was broken off smooth. Tenon on this one had to be drilled out. It was actually stuck down inside the, uh, the shank of the pipe. So since the tenon had to be replaced anyway, I wanted him to do a conversion that he offers. Uh, most of the other pipe shops that I've checked with don't offer this service. So what he does is replace the normal tenon with a metal tube. Um, well, in this case, it was a metal tube that it was replaced with, which is actually perfect because the end of the stem here is also metal, so it matches up nice, it looks well together. But the reason I wanted that put there This pipe is now a filtered pipe. This Canadian will now accept six millimeter filter. So that was the reason for choosing his pipe repair shop over others. The same time while I sent that off, I also sent this beauty. This was the first real pipe that I'd ever ordered. This was my Dunhill Ruby Bark. Uh, it's the Umpal. I love this pipe. One of my favorite pipes, but it always had a drawback. I wasn't able to use a filter on it. So I went ahead and sent this one over to him along with that Canadian change the tenon out on this one so it'll accept a nine millimeter filter. 
Now this tenon, instead of using the metal piece like he did on the Canadian, this one is vulcanite, so it matches the rest of the stem. And went ahead and put this side out just a little bit larger, so it'll accept the new filter. Now it's like it came from Dunhill with a filter in it now. Um, so if you have pipes that are unfiltered and you would like to have a filter installed in them, whether it is the six millimeter or nine millimeter charcoal filters, the Savinelli balsa wood filters, he can do any of those type filter conversions. Um, I have a few more of my Savinelli's that were unfiltered. I'm going to have them converted so they'll accept the Savinelli balsa wood filter. So if you have any work like that you're considering, check out lunapipes.com and I'll put a link down below. Uh, Tom over at Luna Pipes, they are up in Kirkland, Washington. Uh, I shipped them over there on uh, Friday, it was Friday, got there on Tuesday, uh, Friday shipped them back out to me, I just got them in today. So uh, both of mine were a little more extensive work than we thought they were going to be, they weren't drilled straight to begin with. so. He had to do a little bit more work than we originally anticipated. Awesome job, got them right back to me, very reasonable prices. So it's lunapipes.com. Till next time, aloha from Hawaii.